What's happening to me? He's got a big red nose like Santa. Well, bless my soul! How on earth did you get here, little girl? I don't know, mister. All I remember is looking in the water and then this flash of light. The next thing I knew I was here. I'm kind of scared because I don't remember much. No, no. No need to be scared, my dear. Using my world-renowned powers of deduction, I'd say that you were in a boat and fell overboard. The tide swept you up and plopped you down here, safe and sound. Why, I'm sure your family is looking for you as we speak. My name's Sarah. What's yours? What? Why, I'm Antonio Baldini, genius showman and ringmaster extraordinaire. Where am I? You don't know. Then you're in for quite a treat, little girl, because directly behind me is the most fantastical spectacle this world has to offer. Huh? Can it be that you've never heard of the world-famous Baldini Brothers' amazing traveling circus? Say it's not so. Why, only a few dollars will open the doors of magic, wonder, and grotesquerie. Oh, but I have no money. Hmm. Tell you what, my dear. Since times are tough and the crowd is, um, uh, a little thin this time of year, I'll give you a free pass to the Squid Squash game. If you're lucky, you might win some tickets. Oh, thank you, Mr. Baldini. Think nothing of it, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, little lady, I have a circus to run. Hey, you maggots! pictures all over his body. It says rubbing alcohol. Ew! Smells like clown breath. It says rub... Yuck! The needle doesn't look very clean. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Oh, ain't you just precious. As if it ain't bad enough being stuck on this freaking island. Now I gotta wet nurse some little brat. You're mean! Yes, yeah, so what? When you's come into Wilbur Smith's wagons, you play by my rules, kid. Ooh, can I have a tattoo? What? Ha! Come back in about ten years, kid. Tattoo is only for my adult customers. Where are all your customers, mister? Well, you ain't the brightest bulb in the string, is you? There ain't no customers. We're stranded on this crappy island. The only new human being to land on this rock since the flood is you. And you're too freaking young for me to ink. That was a big flood, huh? No, it was a little tiny flood. Now quit asking me stupid questions. I never saw a circus on an island before. That's cause there ain't supposed to be any damn circuses on any damn islands. How the hell is anyone supposed to go to a circus if they can't reach it? Do you drink this stuff? What? Of course not! I use this stuff for cleaning the customer's skins before I tattoo them. Ooh, those look sharp. Don't touch! They ain't for little brats like you to play with. I never saw a circus. That's cut. It says rubbing alcohol. It says.
this one on my arm. A skull and crossbones. It says rubbing alcohol. Ew! Smells like clown breath. It says rub. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing, you little thief? Hands off! Oh, poo. Ain't no charity booth. Wow, they have games. I'll take a shot. One ticket, little missy. Oh, I don't think I have enough tickets. Uh, hit the road. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, I'll be. Antonio wasn't crazy after all. There really is a customer. My name is Carl Rice, but you can call me Ishmael. <laughs> hmm. I operate this squid squash game. Squid squash? How do you play? Oh, it's quite simple, little girl. It's a test of might. After you give me your tickets to play, I'll give you the anchor. You heave it up, and then squash the squid head here as hard as you can. That will send a blob of ink up its tentacle. The higher it goes, the more tickets you win. Why do I need more tickets? You need them to go on the rides, of course. What book are you reading? Is it a comic book? What? This is a classic, young lady, not some piece of trash. It's the epic saga of a man obsessed with killing a great white whale. Oh, 
that poor whale. No, no, no. You're missing the point. The whale is the manifestation of all earthly evils, and the man's pursuit is... Oh, forget it. May I play, please? Sure, if you have three tickets. I have a squid squash pass that Mr. Baldini gave me. That's good enough. Here you go. Ticket per throw. I have enough tickets. Give it your best shot, little girl. Try not to hurt yourself. Ha ha ha. Holy crap! What an arm! You busted up my pins. A bowling pin. Sure, if you have three tickets. I have enough tickets. Splendid. Here you go. Oh, poo. Can I play again? Is your memory as short as you are? You broke my game, remember? Beat it! A shot? One ticket, little missy. I have enough tickets. Keep your eyes on the pigs and your finger on the trigger. Hmm. Wee. Hmm. <laughs> nice shooting, eagle eye. I'll take a shot. One ticket, little missy. I have enough tickets. Keep your eyes on the pigs and your finger on the trigger. Whee! Hmm, <laughs> nice shooting, Eagle Eye. Look, I have some game tickets. I'd like to try. One ticket, if you please. I have enough tickets. All right, little miss. Give it a try. Whee! <laughs> we have a winner. I'd like to try. One ticket, if you please. I have enough tickets. All right, little miss. Give it a try. We have a like Mr. Potato Head, put together wrong. I don't think I can go there. That clown scares me. My name's Sarah. What's yours? I'm Zippy, master of the art of fortune telling. My cards contain the hidden secrets of the cosmos. Ooh, can you tell me my fortune? Certainly. Hmm, let me consult the cards. Ah, yes. This is very interesting indeed. Ooh, what do they say? The sign of the scarab. 
This Egyptian symbol indicates a plague of horrifying insects bent on devouring the planet. Oh no, really? That sounds scary. Well, it's either that or a native club. I'm not really sure. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Stuart Limkin, my good child. A purveyor of earthly oddities, if you will. A peddler of the perverted beasts that lurk in the shadows of your mind. I am a collector of freaks, and I humbly welcome you to my monument of monstrosities. Where do the freaks come from? Does it really matter, child? They have been assembled here for your entertainment, kept safely behind iron bars so you can observe at your leisure. This must be for the merry-go-round, but it's all rusted up. Just a girl. My name's Sean. Are we the only kids here? Yeah, it sucks. I get real lonely all by myself. I don't have anyone to play with. If you're so lonely, why don't you go to the circus? There's lots to do there. Mama says I can't. She says the circus is for evil folks. And they brought the flood down on us with their sin and ways. That's silly. How could they have? I don't know. Mama knows the best. Do you always obey your mama? Most of the time. What do you mean, most of the time? Well, I snuck out and went over to the big top one night, even though Mama said not to. It was pretty boring. Most everybody was sleeping, except the strong man, who was writing some sap of love poems or something. They were pretty bad. I remember one went like this. Oh, Inferno, you make my heart burn out. <laughs> Is this section of the island your home now? Yeah, if you can call this a home. It's just a bunch of cruddy shacks. Where's all the other families? Me and my folks are all that's left. There used to be a lot more, but they kept disappearing. What's happening? No one knows for sure. We think it's that monster. Monster? Yeah, that squid thing. My dad says it's just a matter of time before it gets us all. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. Hmm, vodka. An oil can. These houses look so sad. Like they're going to fall down any minute. Oh, he looks so sad. My name's Sarah. What's yours? My name is Colin O'Leary and my wife here is Martha. What happened to the town? A flood. The old prospect dam just beyond Grandview Point finally burst after years of neglect. How did that happen? It was just sort of forgotten over the years. Uh, we knew that it needed repairs, but we took it for granted thought it would last one more year. After all, a town only has so much money to spend, and other things always seemed to be more important at the time. I guess we were wrong. What happened to the rest of the town folk? Most of them were killed in the flood. A few survivors, like me family, came up here to find shelter. Where are they? I don't see anyone but your family. We're all that remain. That squid thing has been picking us off one by one. But how can it? We're high up from the water. Since it's been in the open water, it's grown to almost triple its original size. 
At night sometimes, I've seen its long tentacles probing the ground, searching for us. Can't you do anything? I am afraid not. We're all doomed. I met your son. He's nice. Ah, uh, Sean? Ah, uh, he's a good lad. Although I wish his mother wouldn't baby him so much. She must be cold. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Where'd you come from, you little imp? I haven't seen you around here before. I just arrived here. I don't quite remember how, though. That's a convenient story, isn't it? Bah! Heaven help us, the sinners are breed and mar their kind. They're as evil as the rest of the godforsaken freaks. I'm not a freak. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> you don't fool me, you little devil. I know the ways of Beezlebub. You can alter your appearance at will. Why, you're probably in league with the watery abomination that's killing us all off one by one. Abomina... What? Oh, stop pretending as if you don't know, you wicked little specter. I'll not fall into your web of lies. Your kind brought about the damnation of our town with your vulgar display of profanity. I met your son. He was... Stay away from my child. Or up here, you like a potato, you ratted fiend. I don't care if you drag me down to the eternal pit of hell, but I'll be damned before I let you harm one hair on his head. Your husband is a very nice man. Husband? You mean this doppelganger? Bah! He's not my husband. Then why are you standing here with him? Don't smart off with me, you poisonous serpent. You know as well as I that if I were to turn my back on him, he'd eat my brain like a grapefruit. He's so big and round. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Like I. Like I? Yeah, like I give a rat's ass your name's Sarah. <laughs> Do you like it here at the circus? Yeah, this is a real paradise. Maybe when I get done talking to your dumb ass, I'll go have a martini by the pool. You sure do cuss a lot. So? What are you gonna do? Tell my mommy. Oh dearie me, whatever shall I do? <laughs> that balloon looks silly on your head. Oh, does it? Thank goodness you were here to tell me that. Whatever would I have done without your keen powers of observation? You're mean. Shut up. Ah, uh, get bench, you little runt. Everything through these, I don't think no way.
Yuck. Yuck. For obvious reasons. You're. I am, aren't I? <laughs> I can juggle anything. Really? Yeah, but I'm getting bored. No one challenges me anymore. Aha! Hey, finally a challenge! Thanks, little girl. Here's a present for you. Whoop! Thanks! You're welcome! Oh my, what big arms he has! What's yours? Mino Gino, strongest man alive. Yeah. Wow, you sure got lots of muscles. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a lot more, but I just kind of let myself go since the flood. Who lives in that big spooky house on the other island? Uh, I don't know, but I'm just glad that Inferno didn't try to go over there. Why not? Her snooty husband, Geraldo, the sword swallower, was gonna go over first here, but Iggy took good care of him. <laughs> I know you're the one writing love poems to Inferno. Why don't you just tell her? If you love her, you should let her know. Uh, what? I... Uh, uh, no! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, crap. Uh, how did you figure it out? I mean, I'm afraid to tell her. Afraid? A big guy like you? Yeah, yeah, I could bend a steel bar around my neck, but I'm scared of telling her how I feel. But why? Yeah, she won't take me seriously. She thinks I'm just a big dummy. I don't know how to really prove my love. How about a big tattoo of her name on your arm? Hey, that's not such a bad idea. If that don't prove how serious I am, then I don't know what is. <gasps> hello, Mr. Baldini. Why, hello, Sarah. Are you enjoying the fabulous circus? I guess so. But it's kind of spooky. That it is, my dear. But is there no fun in fright? No beauty and terror? Look more closely, my dear, and see the sublime wonder of every attraction. Such a beautiful costume. Wow! Do you really breathe fire? Do you, Jennifer, take this man, Max, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do, do breathe fire, that's right. What's your name, little girl? My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, my real name's Jennifer Lang. But you can call me by my stage name. Inferno. That's a pretty costume. Why, thank you. You're just the sweetest little girl. You're like the daughter I always wanted. Why don't you have one? My husband and I never had the chance to start a family. What happened? He and the other performers were trying to reach the other island when they were attacked by that squid freak. I didn't go because I get seasick easily. He said he'd go check it out. And if it was safe, he'd come back for me. He never came back. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, dear. You didn't know. I just wish I had someone to pass down my secret of fire breathing to. Oh, me, me! Please teach me! Hmm... I don't know. You're awfully young. Please! Well... Okay. But before we get started, you'll need some fuel. I'm running low on my own I know who's been sending you love poems. What? 
How did you find out I was getting them? I haven't told a soul. I can't tell you how I found out, but I know that Gino the strong man is sending them. Oh no! That big oaf! Oh my goodness. He was dating half the girls from the High Wire Act before the flood. How can I take that man seriously? What if he tattoos your name on his arm? No, I don't know. If he were willing to do that, maybe it would be a start. Just between you and me, I've been awfully lonely since my husband went away. give you one of my old fire batons. Second, you can light it here in my fire barrel. That should be it. Are you ready? Watch me carefully, and then you try it. Okay. Okay, now you try it. You did it. You're a natural. Inferno, guess what? Gino is getting a tattoo for you. Really? Maybe I misjudged him. He must have meant what he said in those sweet, simple poems. I hope she doesn't throw one of those at me. My name's Sarah. What's yours? What's it to ya, you little smart? You don't have to be so mean. I was just asking. I was just asking. Ha! Huh. My name is Trixie. Try to remember it. Do you like it here at the circus? Are you for real? This blows. The only enjoyment I get these days is creaming my stupid brother. 
don't think that's very nice. Shut up. I don't remember asking you about what you thought, you shrimp. Boy, you aren't a very friendly clown. I thought clowns were supposed to be happy and nice. Is that so? Well, most clowns aren't stuck in a run-down circus on an island, waiting to get eaten by some giant freak. What do you mean, waiting to get eaten? What freak? The goddamn squid. I knew it was bad news the day Antonio brought him. Christ, he ate my dog. The first day he was here. Oh, Mr. Pooper. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry? Oh, that's great, kid. But it won't bring back my dog. You get away from me before I nail you with a pie. Poor sad little clown. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Simon. Do you like it here at the circus? No. My sister is a real pain in the ass. Why is she so mean to you? Oh, I don't know. She was always kind of mean. But when her dog died, man, that pushed her over the edge. Ugh, Pooh, he stinks. My name's Sarah. What's yours? The Flipper. Do you like it here at the circus? Oh yeah, this is my dream. All I got at the prop is this freaking fish. Why don't you use something else? Oh, what else is there? I used to get stuff from the crowd, but there is no stinking crowd. This circus sucks. Tickets to get in? A mere five tickets. Half of ten, and one less than half a dozen. A small price to pay to see what few will encounter in the space of a lifetime. I've heard that one of your freaks got loose during the flood, and now he's eating everyone who goes in the water. The forces of Mother Nature are not mine to wield, my girl. During the Great Calamity, Iggy took the opportunity to free himself from the shackles of man and returned once more to his watery domain. Who am I to judge this misunderstood creature? Look. Thank you. Now, step lively, little girl, for the gallery of the grotesque awaits. He's all bendy. My name's Sarah. What's yours? I am Pretzul, the master of elasticity. Ooh, can you light up a light bulb? What? No, no, not electricity. Elasticity. What does that word mean, mister? That means uh, I can twist and stretch myself into many different shapes. How long 
have you been a freak in the circus? For many years now, I've seen quite a few freaks come and go, but that squid boy was the worst of the lot. tell if he's a man or a big dog. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Timber. Go away, kid, before I eat you. What a terrible thing to say. I was just being friendly. If you want to be friendly, release me from this damn cage. If I let you out, you'll eat me. You said so yourself. Promise. I, I promise not to eat if you let me out. How could I trust you? You look like you'd eat the first thing you get your hands on. Uh, no, I'm not you. I, I want... I smell bones. Uh, sweet scent of marrow. Uh, driving me mad. Uh, I'm starving. Uh, I want out. Uh, will you lead me to the bones? You can smell bones? Where are they? I haven't seen any on this entire island. Buried. Deep. Uh, underground. I can smell them. I can. I'll dig them up. Gee, I don't know. Uh, please, kid. I'm dying in this wretched cage. Uh, I need out. Why doesn't Stuart just open your cage? Doesn't he have a key? Uh, he lost. Uh, damn, Stuart lost it. Uh, need to pick it open now. Yuck, the needle doesn't look very... Maybe I'll try it later. That would be very, very... I can't do that. The wagons don't look like very comfortable homes. The wagon... The wagon... It's a rub, it says rubbing, it's an oil can. Look, I have Inferno says I can use the baton. Yuck. That would be, I don't, that would, I don't, that would be. The wagons. would hurt. That's it. Oh, three, three, thank you. Bones, dig them up. Ow! Stop. 
step on up to the sign, Corp. Spanky will say if you goes in or not. Okay, Stretch. Thank you. I guess he runs the fun house. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Oliver Tweed. And I may say that I have never seen so little as Sarah in my life. You're small, kids. S.M. All. Ha! De ha ha! Who's that clown on the roof? That's Spanky the Clown. He sits on the roof so he can see far and wide. How many tickets to get in? Five tickets, kiddo. I don't know how you did it, but you grew up real quick. That's the damnedest thing I ever saw. Look! Look! Thanks, Squirt. The House of Horror awaits. Spooky. Of course I did. I'm quite skilled in the mystic arts, my child. My name is Lady of Honor. Would you tell me my future? Normally I would charge you. But with the way things are, I see no point in it. Come closer. I will need to see your palm. I see that you are far from home, and that you are not who you appear to be. You possess the solution to an important problem, although outside forces conspire against you. How unusual. Your hands tell the stories of someone easily three times your age. Well, I must rest now. But I will give you one final piece of advice. On your way home, beware the pit of darkness. You can only pass through safely when you've sought out the wand, flask, and reflection. Um, I feel all well sick. No way! <laughs> <laughs> 